Fine Line campaign provided a wonderful platform to share how a locally owned and governed health system responds to a community and state need. In this case, it's Brian Hill's 87 year and unrivaled commitment to behavioral health. But more importantly, we were able to heighten awareness that substance abuse and mental illness doesn't discriminate, not by race, gender, or age, or a person's socioeconomic status. On behalf of the Bryan Foundation and its Board of Trustees, it has been an honor to partner with many generous people, grateful patients, and dedicated caregivers, enhancing Bryan Health's ability to impact people and their families. Thank you. My name is Dr. Dave Myers. I'm a manager in the mental health program here at the Bryan Medical Center. The Counseling Center is part of the phase one of the capital campaign of the Fine Line campaign. So we're already in our new space. We've been in the new space for about six months. We've had great, great feedback from individuals who have experienced services in our old space. And they like the old space. It was a very homey space. They really like the new space. Uh, they find, you know, they get out the elevator to see the wonderful a uh, mural that's there, uh, the expansive waiting room. Um, and this makes individuals feel a lot more comfortable. And that's really important. Individuals coming to seek behavioral health services, what's important is that connection with their therapist, or that connection with that service. Kim Russell, President and CEO of Bryan Health. The Independent Center is an absolute treasure, and I'm so incredibly proud to be affiliated with the wonderful services that our staff provides. However, the facility, as you can see, leaves a lot to be desired, and the facility simply was not up to the standards of the tremendous care that our staff has been providing. So finally, with the uh, support from outstanding members of our community, we will finally be able to have a facility that, that meets the needs of our clients, their families, and the staff that are here to serve them. My name is Jerome Berry. I'm the director of the Independent Center here at Bryan Health. This campaign and the realization of the new building uh, just sends a message throughout the community, uh, sends a message to my staff, sends a message to people that uh, either currently suffer from addictions, have suffered from addictions, or know family members. It, it send a, sends a message that Brian is committed to substance abuse treatment, to behavioral health of all sorts. Uh, it sends a strong message of care and concern. No matter what your issue is uh, related to health, we're here to help you. It's very obvious when you see the needs in society for effective behavioral health treatment, how very important the Bryan Health role is in all of that. And we think this is a very important part of our mission, and so we're really excited, frankly, to be at this next step of the Fine Line campaign. My name is Debbie Fisher. My name is Dean Fisher. He came here for treatment when he was 14. Mm -hmm. And he struggled until he was in his 30s. We had real good times and we had times that were not so good. Mm -hmm. And we wished that he didn't have to struggle. Yeah. We believe as a family that um, there are a lot of pe young people and other people who continue to need help in our community and in our city and in our state. The memorial at Cam is truly beautiful and embraces the hope and light. We pray others come to find through their treatment. Our main objective is to help others find healing and find their way towards recovery.
My name is Gregory Brown. I'm a Staff Sergeant in the Nebraska Army National Guard. I'm a graduate of the Independent Center. I'm also the former president of the Independent Center Alumni Association. I entered the Independent Center on a pretty low note. I was suffering from a lot of depression, alcoholism. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I attempted suicide and Brian Health brought me back and offered me a, a bed in the Independent Center, in which I went. The staff and the teachings and the learning and the education that they provided to me showed me a whole new way to live. Uh, it showed me that there was hope, that there was a way to live, that there was a change out there. Your loved one is going through things that they, they don't understand necessarily, it's depend no matter what age they are. They don't understand, they're not sure how to traverse through this path that they've been put down and they need to know that you're there. And as a result of that, you need to reach back out to the community and ask for help as well and, and not let it be a dark, dark place that all of you live together. Never give up. <laughs> Never give up on those that you love. Never give up if you are the person that's, that's going through the behavioral issues. If I could educate everyone about mental illness, I'd like to share three things. One, seek professional help. Two, recovery is possible. And last, remember that you're not alone. It is just inspiring to me the way our staff never gives up on our clients, provides incredible support to their families, and I think they are the absolute definition of the word hope. This campaign has meant a lot to the staff, um, but it's gonna mean a lot more for the future. Um, for both the staff, but for the patients who need the mental health services, the behavioral health services that this campaign is going to allow us to continue to provide to our community. Any, anyone out there that uh, contributed in any, in any way to this campaign, uh, whether it was time, whether it was effort, whether it was actual dollars and, and contribution, uh, this is going to mean something to people you'll never meet. Um, and they'll be grateful uh, for the, the changed life that they experience. So thank you. The Independent Center has meant so much to me, and it means so much to thousands of other people that have been through there. Without your contributions, without your help, you know, this, this wouldn't have been possible. It's going to benefit a great many of people, it's going to benefit the community, it's going to benefit the nation. I thank you all for what you have done.